1794 flowing hair silver dollar. Bowers Borkhart 1, Ballander 1. NGC XF 45. According to Ron Goose, in the PCGS CoinFax website, the best source of information on this date is the book The Flowing Hair Silver Dollars of 1794, an historical and population census study by Martin A. Logies. Mr. Logies documented the appearances of over 125 different, out of about 150 known to exist, 1794 silver dollars along with their auction pedigrees and other pertinent information. The dies for the $1,794 are almost certainly the work of Robert Scott, a medalist and die sinker. He had begun his career in England as a watchmaker and had come to America, where he engaged in engraving plates for money and bills of exchange during the Revolutionary War, scales used in the office of financier Robert Morris, and plates illustrating architectural items for Dobson's Encyclopedia, among numerous other commissions. In 1780, he produced an Indian peace medal, Happy When United, for the state of Virginia. In 1781, his workshop was located in Philadelphia on the west side of Front Street, near the corner of Vine. On November 23, 1793, Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson, who was in charge of the affairs of the Mint, wrote to Robert Scott and sent him a commission to be engraver at the Mint. To Scott fell the task of cutting the dies for coinage, including the 1794 flowing hair dollar. In November 1794, John Smith Gardner was hired as his assistant, but by this time the initial delivery of silver dollars had been accomplished, probably, Gardner worked on some of the 1795 and later dies.